Right, hi Vincent. Um, we were on the right lines, but I'm going to go through it again. So, first thing we have to consider, and you were right to get the two there, but the first things we have to consider is we want to have um, an equal number, an equal number of red, yellow and green balls in bag A. So bag A at the moment has red, yellow and green. It has four, three and two. So your only option, oh no, not two, N. So the only option is to have four, four, which would mean you've taken one out, which would have to be a green out, and then put back a yellow. So this would be one less. Or you take a red, so that's three, that's still three, and put green in. Okay, so in the first scenario, for that must be four, therefore n is five. And in the second scenario, this must be three, therefore n is two. So there's only two scenarios where this works. So if that's the case then, and we're looking at our red, yellow, and green balls um, for bag A, we've got red, if we do for N is, what should we do for N is um, two first maybe. So when N is two, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got four out of nine, three out of nine, and two out of nine. And then for the B, you've also got red, yellow, and green, and red, yellow, green, and red, yellow, and green. And we've said we're going to take a green out. No, we haven't. I'm on N is 2. We're going to take a red out. So we're along this line. And then we're going to put a green back in. So we want the probability of red and the probability of green. So the prob so this is because we've added one to it. This is now there are so we took a red out. So there are now six reds out of ten. There are still three yellows out of ten. And there's what have we got? What have we got? Uh, one green ball out of ten. So the probability of doing red followed by, with the new one with the extra bit in, probability of green is going to be 4 over 9 times 1 over 10, which is 4 over, what is that? 4 over 90. Yeah, 4 over 90. Let's just leave it like that. So that's the first one. Then we're going we're gonna to say n is 5 over here. So when n is 5, oh actually I'm going to take this as well. Um, so when n is 5, whoops, I will get there in the end. Uh, when n is 5, Um, we've going to do the same thing, but we've obviously got different. So we've still got red, yellow, and green. But when n is 5, so if this is 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 4 out of 12, 3 out of 12, and 5 out of 12. And then for the other bag then, again, but we're going to take a green out. So we're only interested in this one down here. So red, yellow, and green. And we want to take a green out and put a yellow back. So the yellows were three, but it's going to be three out of ten. Okay, so the probability of green followed by taking the probability of yellow would be five out of twelve times three out of ten. Oops. Okay, so five over twelve times three over ten gives me, oh, one eighth, is that right? So if I add that to my 61 over 
No, I didn't have 61 over. If I add that to my 4 over 90, I'm over 8 plus, I can't see it, where's it gone? 1 over 8 plus 4 over 90 gives me 61 over 360, and that's the probability. And we've also got the possible values of n. So we've got n is 2 or 5, and the probability of being 2 or 5 is 61 over 360.